We're in the gun shop at Coraline Sporting Goods, the home of the Rocky Mountain Rifle, and Travis has just finished setting up uh, pillar bedding on this Model 70. So here's how it went. So explain pillar bedding. Um, pillar bedding gives you a surface in which you can't compress your stock. Um, if you've got softer materials like, especially like injection molded plastic or wood, if you, if you put too much torque into your guard screws, it'll start to crush that surface. Um, and you can actually break your stock that way. Um, and not to mention when you either put insufficient or too much torque, it can affect your accuracy. You know, you're not going to have a consistent vibration. Um, and really you want these guns to be tuning forks. Um, you want them to have a real consistent harmonic vibration through them. Um, and giving it a good solid pillar bed is you know, a foundation for accuracy. Um, it gives you a good bedrock to base these on. Um, these are score heist pillars. Sort of um, sort of they use a micrometer adjustment where they thread in and out yeah. in order to adjust There's the bottom to metal yeah. so and its reference to the mag box. So you, after you've bedded it, it still uh, will feed. On, did, um, these are a great soon. system. Um, we're we uh, install them on all of our guns that we do bed. Um, so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to drill out the old guard screw hole to a more concentric hole. And then I'm going to go in with a piloted reamer. And that's actually going to open it up to slightly over the size of the pillar. Um, after I've done that, we have screws that will install these so that when we bed it in, um, it will be fully supported without wearing down your guard screws. Um, so that's a really good way to maintain the integrity of your guard screw heads. Um, and uh, yeah, and so essentially what we're doing is we're going to open these up. Um, and because a lot of these plastic injection molded stocks are extremely slick, we're going to have to braid the surface all inside of here to create a surface that the, the epoxy will actually sit in. Um, otherwise, if you don't do that, it'll actually just um, unlaminate and uh, you'll lose your bedding on there. But. Yeah, so that opened up nicely. Gotcha. You guys yeah, should. I mean, and this is where you really see how <clears throat> wonky things are from the factory, but that actually did press in just perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, so I was trying to tweak that to get it to the right height. That's, uh... Little dots in their head. So yeah, you know, I try and get them as hairy as I can get, you know, so they get lots of abrasion on there, and that'll just give you a better surface for the glue to stick into. Um, but it's really important to get release agent into every crevice because chances are you'll get glue on it. And it's really nice stuff to work with. Um, as far as epoxies go, some of them are a little bit more liquid than others. Um, like DEFCON, um, but um, as far as the amount of liquid, you know, how smooth this stuff runs, um, I like an acrylic glass. It uh, lays up pretty nice. And the back doesn't require as much glue, but I like putting some on there just to make sure that the uh, yeah. everything sticks on there nice and solid. So I've just left this, I've left this one off, um, so I haven't tightened it. It's just at about 75% right now. That's so another reason are, why you have to do all that that you did on the inside of the barrel, because this is so... It's so slick, it's nothing slick, adheres nothing to, it. Will yeah. stick to it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that's just a matter of wiping that down. Um, I do try to 
Big sure. chunks off? Yeah, because you can see how that float up. If I don't take that off, that will give me a little bit of an issue. But because I've got release agent on there, it will make my life nice and simple. But yeah. So it'll just be a simple matter of scraping it off even with the, the actual stock line and then um, letting her kick off a little bit.